This video explains and demonstrates how integrating equity, diversity, and inclusion, or EDI, considerations at each stage of the research process can strengthen research. While this content is primarily directed at applicants to the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada, also known as NSERC, anyone involved in research, including reviewers and research support staff, can benefit from it. This video has three parts. In part one, we will begin by explaining how the integration of EDI considerations throughout the research process strengthens research. In part two, we will show some examples and provide key reflective questions that can assist in strengthening your own research. And finally, in part three, we will highlight important distinct considerations for research involving or affecting Indigenous peoples, communities, organizations, and Indigenous lands. Before we begin, which of the following research projects do you think would be strengthened by integrating equity, diversity, and inclusion considerations? A. Determining the energy consumption in office buildings. B. Researching the effects of warming sea temperatures on marine organisms. C. Analyzing astronomical data. D. All of the above. E. None of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. The consideration of equity, diversity, and inclusion in all these projects enhances their overall quality and impact. Did you know that for decades, the standard for energy consumption and temperatures in buildings has been based on the metabolism of a 40-year-old, 155-pound man? Studies show that women have a thermal comfort zone that's significantly higher than men. The consideration of gender and other variables, such as age and body composition, improves the accuracy of the thermal comfort models, which benefits a greater proportion of building occupants and improves energy consumption predictions and energy savings. Did you know that the sex of sea turtles is determined by temperature? The female sex ratio of turtles originating from warmer northern Great Barrier Reef sites is much higher than it is for colder waters. Enhancing the capacity of sex analysis for a growing number of species across a wide range of settings may increase our ability to accurately model the effects of climate change. Did you know that you can hear the stars? Cosmic sounds can be converted into scientific data by mapping pitch frequencies. This process, called sonification, was used by Dr. Diaz Merced, who is visually impaired. She used sonification of astronomical data to complement and enhance mathematical analysis or visual displays of cosmic events. Her work expanded the accessibility to information, which broadened the relevance and impact of research and benefited the work of many astronomical researchers, not just those experiencing vision loss. All disciplines have something to gain by remaining open to all approaches. The NSERC Guide on Integrating Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Considerations in Research, which can be found online on the NSERC website, consists of two sections. The content of this video serves to complement the first section of the guide, titled Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Considerations at Each Stage of the Research Process. It outlines how to apply a critical EDI lens to the planning and execution of research at each stage of the research process and how this strengthens research. It is focused on the research itself. The second section of that online guide is titled Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Considerations for Research Teams, and focuses on creating diverse teams and inclusive research environments. This video does not cover that content. Links to the key sources referenced in this video can be found in the video description below. NSERC and the other federal funding agencies are committed to excellence in research. This commitment is informed by many of the core principles in tri-agency policies and guidelines, such as the ones on responsible and ethical research, which NSERC applicants, grant and award holders must comply with. The agencies are guided by the principle that, in order to maximize the benefits of research, researchers must have academic freedom, and this academic freedom comes with responsibilities. These include the responsibility to conduct honest, fair, and thoughtful inquiry and rigorous analysis, disseminate results, respect and protect participants, 
align research with the needs defined by the community, and consider the risks and potential benefits of their research and the knowledge it might generate for the welfare of society as a whole. Grounded in these responsibilities, values, and principles, as well as those set out in the Tri-Agency Statement on EDI and the Tri-Agency EDI Action Plan, NSERC recognizes that equity, diversity, and inclusion considerations are integral to criteria used to assess research excellence. Specifically, considering EDI in the research process contributes to research excellence by producing high-quality research that is rigorous, experimentally thorough, and ethical, fueling innovation through discovery, and by opening up new areas of research, producing results that are more relevant and useful to a larger proportion of society, making findings more translatable to other areas, expanding the applicability and reliability of findings and technologies, revealing implicit assumptions that may otherwise go unnoticed or unchallenged, questioning biased norms and stereotypes, and mitigating biases that lead to unfair and or inaccurate outcomes, supporting research outcomes that fairly benefit impacted communities, preventing the overgeneralization of findings, and improving the reproducibility of results. In these ways, considering EDI in your research accelerates discovery, fosters ethical practices, and improves the robustness of findings. It leads to greater research quality, rigor, applicability, and relevance to society as a whole, thereby maximizing impact. Let's look at an example that demonstrates the importance of integrating EDI considerations. When researchers take cultural and gender biases into account in artificial intelligence and machine learning research, mitigate those, and increase the diversity of data sets, they improve the quality and impact of their research. One study has shown that facial recognition systems can misclassify people with darker skin, and especially women with darker skin, whereas they provide more accurate results for people with lighter skin, especially men. Recognition systems have also been shown to misidentify transgender individuals and those with higher registered voices or certain accents. The misidentification is due in large part to the lack of sufficient diversity in the data set that is used for machine learning algorithms. The algorithms then replicate and amplify cultural and gender biases, leading to inaccuracies, inequities, and discrimination. By ensuring the data set is inclusive of the diversity of the population, the facial, voice, and skin recognition systems generate more accurate results with wider applicability and reproducibility. Having complete, relevant, and reliable data sets also mitigates the risks of knowledge gaps and unfounded assumptions. All types of research can be improved when EDI is considered in the research process, regardless of discipline. It helps to think of the human element in all the different stages of research. After all, science and engineering are not done in isolation, free of implicit biases, values, and contexts. For instance, think of the researchers doing the work and their assumptions, experiences, and perspectives. Think of the participants and end users and their needs. Think of those who are directly and indirectly impacted by the research and how you can involve them in decision-making. And think of the diversity of people who need to be able to access the results of your research. EDI considerations may apply to different stages of the research process or in different ways from one research project to another, but they are still applicable somewhere and somehow. They apply to more areas than you might think. NSERC expects you to reflect on how your research can be strengthened by these considerations and to integrate them where relevant to ensure excellent, innovative, and impactful research.